In this video, we'll be taking a look at Tilda Terminal. So it's a terminal application you can use in any of the Linux distributions. So just taking a look at it here, as you can see it's an overlay terminal, kind of reminiscent of the old Quake style games, where to get into the console you used to have to press the tilde button. And you can see where it gets its name from. So you can use it literally as you would the terminal, say, that came with GNOME. So, I don't know, uh, you name uh, dash a tell me the kernel version. You can scroll back old commands, like ping my NAS, for instance, and there you go, you just literally see it works as you would expect in a terminal. But the only thing you can't do with it is dragging and dropping a document into there, so save typing the whole document name out, which is a bit annoying, because something can be a bit long-winded. But at least you've got the option of using tab to auto-complete, so cd uh, forward slash documents, there you go, tab auto-complete it. Now I know in Ubuntu you didn't have to use the terminal, it's kind of one of these distros you can get by without using it. In fact, the most part I use it on my own system is to actually maintain the computers downstairs to so maintain them over SSH. This means I can sit up here and do something else, like listen to music, mess around on the internet while I do any of the maintenance on them, updates for applications. Now let's just show you some of the features in Tilda. So you've got the tabbed, you've got the tabbed option for different terminal screens there. Uh, look at preferences, change various options on window display, and change the fonts there. So I quite like the Ubuntu font, the Ubuntu mono font. Change the, the, change the title, uh, default web browser, change the appearance, so height, width, change the position on the screen, centered horizontally, vertically. Well, strangely, if you untick them, it doesn't go back to that position at the top screen, top left. But if I restart it, then it does. You can even use an image as the background. Although if you put too large an image in, it doesn't like stretch it down, it just shows you one part of the image. Change the colours, so built-in colour scheme, and you can use your own colours. Options for a scroll bar. And yeah, the key binding. So one last thing I'll show you is how to set tilde as a default terminal for GNOME-based distros. So you need a deconf editor, so what you have to do is install deconf tools for that. If you go into org, gnome, desktop, applications, then terminal. So let's go back to default there. So it was gnome terminal, just change it to tilde, and take out, take out the options for exec arg because it doesn't need anything, and there you go, simple as. So, thanks for watching, see you later.